content of module 11 as you all know that module 11 is the last module of the advanced level after that our lessons will be started so i haven't created a detailed video about explaining that what is exactly the module 11 pardon me for that that i cannot make it for next few days also but i have already shared all the details related to module 11 on my telegram channel so this video is only about the content of module 11 that what exactly i have spoken so my team got the topic called is your school english curriculum equipping you for trending jobs or not the topic you will get on the very first day of this module so this was the my topic so i'm gonna to start my speech that as we all understood till now that what are the plus points as well as what are the loopholes in the current english curriculum our research has proved one fact very explicitly that english is a very prerequisite language when it comes to employment the skills we gain through studying english are marketable in most sectors every occupation have different vocabulary different acronym and every word have different meanings in different field so our english curriculum should be more pragmatic as the private sector companies are gaining ground and becoming more competitive due to globalization of the world economy so we can proudly say that our english curriculum is equipped for a job to the certain extent because our vocabulary or ability to communicate is crucial for interacting as well as for getting a job but should we be satisfied with it the answer should be no because while on the one side we are appreciating our curriculum on the other hand we should take a moment to recognize the loopholes as someone says that recognition of a particular mistake is the first step towards perfection many companies around the world have an international presence this makes the necessity of a universal language like as english all the more important in these multinational corporations communication is a critical skill essential for enabling the company operations the current world population is 7.97 billion as of august 2022 according to the most recent united nation report elaborated by the worldometer in that report it's mentioned that how many people in each country use the english language according to that report there are around 1.35 billion people worldwide who speak english as a second language hindi and spanish have been accounted for the third and fourth most widespread languages in the year of 2022 now let me quickly take a dive into the conclusion of our research so we all should understand that making small alterations can lead to bigger results the current english curriculum is equipping us to compete and succeed in the modern workplaces as well as we should start inculcating the critical thinking and problem solving skills in the curriculum with this i would like to end the team presentation by stating a statement that problems exist at every step it depends on we as an individual that whether we would like to ignore it or amend it the same goes for english curriculum problems are present there too but if we will focus on problems we will have more problems but on the contrary when we will focus on possibilities then we will have more opportunities